the first thing to do when you're making a Caesar salad is to make sure that your hands are good and clean. I have my personal assistant here, Riley, who's going to help me. I encourage if you have a child, this is a great recipe to use whenever you're helping, when you're getting your children involved. It really helps. So today we're going to make a Caesar salad. The ingredients that you need is some romaine lettuce. This is the bag, but I prefer that you get a head of lettuce. I think it helps. It makes it taste better. And one way to make your lettuce taste really good is to break it up into small pieces, bite size. You can wash it and put it in a bag, just a shopping bag, and get paper towels, crinkle them up and put them in with it, and tie your bag and set it aside. This will make your lettuce really good and crisp. And then once your lettuce is crisp, which takes a little while, you're going to have a large bowl and a small bowl. Your large bowl is what you're going to put everything in. So Riley, would you like to dump the lettuce into the large bowl for me? Yes. You're going to dump it in. Dump it in. You don't need to use all of it. And you're going to make sure that it's all in there and it's crisp. Bite-sized pieces are always good because you want to make sure that your guests can always eat the pieces without having to break them up. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to have cheddar cheese, which I prefer the block cheese as opposed to already shredded, and you're just going to shred it in with there, with the lettuce. Can I do that? Can I do that, Mom? Put your hand on it. Just shred it in there. You also need blue cheese, which I don't have today, but... You get the blue cheese and you can mix in with it also. You can mix it up with your hands. Since our hands are nice and clean, you can just mix it up. That's good. So now we're going to set that aside. That's our cheese and lettuce mixture. Now, to make the front of it, or to make the dressing, I'm sorry, you're going to use extra virgin olive oil. We're going to take the lid off and you're going to pour about one cup in. So we just pour it in. For our demonstration, that'll work. Mm. And then we're going to get Worcestershire sauce. You're going to get the Worcestershire sauce, and you're going to do about half of whatever you poured of the extra virgin olive oil. Sometimes if you make a bigger lettuce, then you'll do a little bit more. But with the smaller lettuce, when you just feed a few people, you just need one head of lettuce, and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and Worcestershire sauce. Now, when you're done with that, you can get salt and pepper and just pour it in there as well and mix it up a little bit. And then, now to top off, to top off your dressing, you're going to need one egg. And again, if you're making a big, a big salad and you use two heads of lettuce, you should use maybe two eggs and a little bit more of everything else. You just up everything a little. We're going to crack it together. You want to hold my hand and help me? Okay. Crack. Look. And you make sure you don't get any shell in there. No shell. Are there any shells, helper? Mm, no nope. shells? No. Nope. All right, now we're going to get our whisk. You want to help me? We're just going to whisk it up. It's going to make kind of a grayish brown color. What? Pour over the salad. <laughs> now you want to make sure that you use salt and pepper also. Like I said, we don't have any here today, but put some salt and pepper in there and make it taste real good. And I recommend not showing your uh, your guests how you make this because a lot of people see you crack an egg in there and they decide they aren't hungry anymore. So, so then we're just going to pour it over, right? Just like that. Right? And then you're going to get the big tongs. Tongs? Tongs. And then we're just going to kind of toss it like this. And your salad is ready to serve. Serving the salad. I usually like to serve it with lasagna, spaghetti, sometimes of Italian meal. There's also, um, if you want to have it for lunch, you can break up some chicken and put it in there, and it makes a great lunch also. So, thank you very much for listening to us today, and have a wonderful day.